Okay. Three, two, one. Oops, sorry. Oops. <laughs> okay, I found it. Shit. There we go. Okay, three, two, one, go. Hey guys, awesome Lawson here. And today I'll be doing a quick small video um, of the year. I think this is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, yes, this is gonna be about uh, my second, third uh, photo shoot I did in Bangkok. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, when I got it in the um, you know GoPro, so it's pretty nice. So, uh, so you, I'll show you some footage uh, later on. But yes, so I have my uh, camera, uh, the one I'm filming right now, which is a Nikon D5500, and the lens is a Nikkor 50mm uh, f1.8, the budget lens, and it was pretty cool. So I mean, to be honest, this is not like a video where I showcase where. I how awesome my photos are uh, I, mean, I will be doing that but uh, it's just to showcase that you know I mean nowadays people are using a lot of mirrorless cameras you know I know some but I was are still on the DSLR stuff and this is just to showcase that you know for me my opinion I know a lot of photographers would say it uh, for me gear does not matter that much in terms of portraits and fashion as well uh, that, that's what I mainly shoot uh, but uh, other words, um, so this is going to be a quick clip on me, uh, you know, shooting with a model. Uh, this is a DFP shoot, so it's pretty nice. Uh, this is just showcase uh, what I can do with the uh, DP500. And for me, this is not like an outdated um, camera. I mean, it's so good for the price that I bought it when I first bought it. I think I bought it like, um, let's see. 2017 uh, around 16 it was during my last days of high school i shot this camera it was pretty nice i mean uh the uh, megapixels was 25 i mean that is already a big already for that in crop sensor but to be honest there's always a weight around it as well so yeah uh so you know uh so the d500 is not outdated yet uh, if you were to get one now you can it was you can get a half a price nowadays and i bought or like uh, I think it was thousand baht, uh, but now that it's on sale around twelve thousand to fifteen thousand used, of course, and yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, you can have that as a starting camera. I would a lot of people use the thirty three hundred, which is pretty good, but I want a bit more extra. The And this is my, actually my first time using a uh, DSL uh, GoPro uh, when I'm doing my photo shoot, so it was pretty nice to have it as well. Uh, this is my first time working with the model. Uh, her name's Kate, and it's a it's a pretty cool uh, thing you can have. Uh, you know, talking to the model, trying to communicate as well. Uh, as you can see, sometimes I don't really use the viewfinder that much. No, not viewfinder. The um, what to call again? The um, LCD screen that much. A lot of uh, GoPro uh, footages they would. A lot of photographers would use their um, LCD screen. I don't, to be honest. Uh, unless you have a mirrorless, uh, mirrorless camera, then maybe. Uh, yeah, so it was pretty nice to have as well. And uh, so it's just me talking around, uh, looking to see what cool things, cool shots I could take as well. And yeah, I think this is a pretty cool uh, setup on ways to pose. This was taking around, uh, I think, uh, three to four. PM. It was a one hour shoot, it was pretty short uh, to be honest and it was something that I can try and do uh, within a short period of time uh, Yes I always create a mood board before I uh, do a photo shoot because it just Sometimes when you get lost uh, during the photo shoot or you forget sometimes It's good to have some reminder and you know, it shows that shows the model that you are a professional even though it's not a paid shoot it still shows professionalism and you know whenever you do to a real uh, paid clients you can like actually know what to do instead as well so yeah this is a pretty nice area now see um, I always like try to see where the sun is and how uh, you know I can position the model that kind of stuff as well and yeah that's a pretty cool thing we do so a lot of this shoots uh, some of the shoots are not very uh, let's say 
focus that much in those a lot of uh, pho a lot of photographers would want to be a lot to be focused uh, you know it, it makes it nice I agree as well but sometimes uh, yeah I shot it at 1.8 okay three two one good a little bit closer okay perfect Uh, all in all, um, so if you have any uh, any cool comments to leave down below, any cool ideas for me to do, uh, just leave them down below and see what I can do. Uh, this is my first time doing this kind of types of like video as well. Usually I just do reviews and stuff. I saw a lot of photographers doing like those cool cinematic videos, which is pretty cool. And I want to at least try to do that for this video. So this video is kind of random, but I'll probably create a title of it and hopefully this all makes sense. But yeah, uh, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.